Hey, any of you boys, Smithies? Or, if not Smithies per se, were you otherwise trained in the metallurgic arts before straightened the circumstances forced you into life aimless wanderers? <laughs> Jesus! Can I count on you people? Sorry, Everett. Well, all right. If we take off through that bayou, then... Wait a minute. Who elected you leader of this outfit? Well, Pete, I figured it should be the one with the capacity for abstract thought, but if that ain't the consensus view, then hell, let's put her to a vote. Suits me. I'm voting for yours truly. Well, I'm voting for yours truly, too. Okay, I'm with you fellas. Mind if we join you, old timer? Jive, my son. Jive. You work for the railroad, Grandpa? I work for no man. You got a name, do you? I have no name. Well, that right there may be the reason you've had difficulty finding gainful employment. You see, in the mart of competitive commerce... You seek a great fortune. You three who are now in chain. You will find a fortune. No, it would not be the fortune you seek. But first, first you must travel a long and difficult road, a road fraught with peril. Mm -hmm. You shall see things wonderful to tell. You shall see a, a cow on the roof of a cotton house. <laughs> and oh, so many startling. I cannot tell you how long this road shall be, but fear not the obstacles in your path. For fate has vouchsafed your reward. Do the road may wind, yea, your hearts grow weary. Still shall ye follow the way, even unto your salvation. 